Jam Jam All. The team behind Aladdin DAO is preparing a token launch as an IFO or an initial farm offering for their concentrator protocol or the CTR token. It's interesting to me because it will have a fixed token supply, uh, so no inflationary emissions. Now today we're going to look at what is Aladdin DAO, what is concentrator, how does it work, where does the yield come from, what is the concentrator token. So let's dive in. So the concentrator protocol is actually built by the Aladdin DAO team. It's um, an Ethereum DeFi application that uses both Curve Finance and Convex to actually generate extra yield um, with a bunch of derivatives in the middle. Before we get started, go and follow OX Concentrator on Twitter. They have like 2k followers right now. You can see Convex is following them as well, so it's like a big, big collab. And they're asking Anon, are you excited about Concentrator Farm and Hold Yield Farming and the recently announced Turbo Cashflow Power CTR token? Well, yes, I am. <laughs> First off, um, other than DAO, is like a DAO that actually um, tries and solve problems in DeFi by collaborating with others. I think, I think they have great, great content. Just go and check it out on YouTube. Um, I would highly recommend everybody from any level to check this. And one of the products that they're actually responsible for is Concentrator. Now, as I said, the DAO tries to fix problems in DeFi. What's the problem that actually Concentrator solves? Well, as you can see, it fixes seamless compounding made for curve and convex maxis. So in the past bull market of the last year, one of the main problems for people to join the actual curve wars was um, the gas fees on Ethereum. It didn't seem to make sense for a small portfolio. And this is actually what Concentrator tackles. It makes it so that even if you have a small portfolio, you can small portfolio. And this is actually what Concentrator tackles. It makes it so that even if you have a small portfolio, you can benefit from owning curve or convex and compound very efficiently, which is something that definitely for small fish is very handy. And the real solution in my opinion. Now then the initial farm offering that's coming soon will actually release the Concentrator token which will get a small, uh, reasonable cut actually from all of this cash flow. Um, so I think this can be really big in the future and I'm very interested in participating. So now that you know what Concentrator is, let's look at how it actually works. Um, so this is the website, concentrator.aladdin.club. Um, and they all have these kind of vaults, these concentrator vaults. Um, you can see here the volume in it or the value locked in it. And they say booster convex yields by 50%. Now, whenever I see something like this, I want to know where does the boosted yield come actually come from. So, um, is it safe? Who is paying it? And so on. And let's look at how this actually works. So, you have all of these curve pools here that you would normally stake on curve or on convex and get a yield on it. But instead now you deposit it into the curve pool and then without staking in the curve gauge or in the convex gauge and then stake it in the concentrator gauge. So then what this does for you actually is um, it takes your curve thing and instead of just putting it into curve, it puts it into convex. But this is even better than doing it in convex. The APIs here are actually higher than the convex LP APIs. And the reason for that is because it has like an extra add-on or an extra twist. You could say if um, curve is the base layer and convex is like the next level, then this is even one level further. Um, so it's like the first interesting third generation curve platform to me. And that final layer, what it does is then, instead of just putting it into convex, it takes the rewards it gets from convex and recompounds it all into convex curve that it takes again. And this also answers where the boosted yield comes from. It's actually just auto compounding without costing you um, any gas. So you basically just take your LP and you start making a curve. And what a curve is, is their, their actual token, Aladdin curve, I guess it's called, um, which actually takes the convex curve from here, the rewards, swaps it all to convex curve and stakes it. So this is also always increasing. You're always getting, your A curve is always becoming more convex curve because it's auto compounding automatically for you. And that's actually the entire value add. Instead of just um, doing it on curve and missing out on convex or doing it on convex and having to auto compound yourself, 
you know, they boost your yields by constantly auto compiling in this ACRV. You could say if curve becomes for normies and comfies for like DeFi experts, then this is like even one rabbit hole deeper. So, and deeper doesn't really mean better, it also has extra smart contact risk and so forth, but you're also getting extra yield. So that's that basically. I'm at least very interested in it. And I think they are trying to solve, an, I believe they are trying to solve another problem by actually, um, another big problem in DeFi by actually getting concentrator onto different chains. And this is interesting because, so that's also basically the reason why they are creating a token. Um, because that's the question, right? Why would they make a token if they make a token that gives kind of the cash flow from this um, to the community forever? Um, to the community forever, it's just like giving away shares for free, you know? So it's kind of like a, a, a real DAO thing to do, actually. It's like everybody who participates is probably rewarded in the long run. But they are doing this not just out of charity, they're also doing it actually with a very, very good reason. Um, let's dive into this. So Concentrator, give them a follow. Um, also join the Discord. It's really good. Something big is brewing at Concentrator. All right, let's look at this. It's called an initial form offering. New take on fundraising and democratizing ownership. And damn, I love this image. So you can check the thread on your own time, but they say Concentrator is a cash flow powerhouse. Government decisions, yet it doesn't really matter. Have concentrated revenues will be allocated by law curves. Revenues are all denominated in Aladdin curve, so holding vote as crude. Concentrator gives power of a continuous stream of auto compounding convex curve. Flywheel anyone. And then the golden goose image basically sums it up. Now, why are they doing it? This is the important thing. Why raise a curve now? Well, curves finance awesome multi chain presence keeps growing, but curve farmers have very few. To yield options for Curve outside of Ethereum mainnet. We will expand the A-Curve liquidity across several chains, giving Curve farmers simple access to great yields. Is it the first ever fundraise denominated in Convex Finance Convex Curve? We think so. I think so as well. So, and this is actually really cool because aside from compounding your Convex gains um, that is now fixed for small fish thanks to Concentrator, they are actually trying to tackle a second problem. And this is like, imagine you live on Phantom or you live on Avex and you want to farm Curve and auto compound it. You can't use Convex because it's not on the chain. But here with this derivative, the A curve, you would actually be able to just buy it on the AVEX, and then each A curve automatically becomes a more convex curve on the background on the mainnet. So it's like uh, it's like you could have a derivative that's always getting more collateralized over time, basically. And I think this is really cool because it really opens up the curve wars to basically all chains in an indirect way through a derivative, which is a very clever solution to a long existing problem to be honest. So what more do we know? Find your future in a farm, it's no secret that pass you a big payoff in crypto is to own a piece of great project early, but all too often being early requires being a part of a VC role and knowing the right people not this time. So it's really like a crowdfunded initial farm offering. Um, it's designed for cash flow power, 50% of all platform revenue in A curve will be tracked and based on voting by locked CTR holders, while the rest will accrue to treasury to cover costs and long term growth. So, this is like really a really nice setup actually. Um, what you need to know that the initial farm offering you will get one con concentrator token for each one A curve of yield generated by your deposit. So, if you farm like uh, one curve token actually, one convex curve token actually, you would get one concentrator token, which is to me a very fair price. But in all honesty, with a small bankroll, I can only farm so much A curve in a short amount of time, which this will probably only be running for, um, because I think it will attract a lot of TVL. But, and the more TVL it attracts, the quicker it will end. You know, a higher TVL for the IFU will result in the IFU being completed faster, so you'll get the best reward by getting in as early as possible, which could be any time now. We don't actually know the date yet. So the strategy I'm going to use is, they say while the IFO is running, a balancer pool will support liquidity, allowing the CTR token to be tradable from day one. And I hope that this will be around the value of like one A curve, and then I will probably buy a lot of them as well. So I will farm some, and I will buy some. 
I love this line, how I learned to stop worrying and love the revenue, just revenue, just for this I'm going to participate. Uh, yeah, you should read this on your own, but it's basically fairly distributed. I, I like everything, all of the stats look good to me. So right now the IFO folds are not yet live, but um, here you can see this tweet um, two days ago from Concentrator. It's really picking up. You can see that they added a curve on Polygon with decent slippage. Well, not for large amounts, but it's a start. And on Phantom as well. And so they are going to try and get onto multiple, multiple chains. And the way they're doing this is they are going to take our convex curve rewards for a little bit while we get Concentrator tokens for it. Um, I hope to uh, get you guys to follow them on Twitter. I think it's really, really worth it and help uh, decentralize curve over all the chains actually.